schedule March 13, 2019 sends. Ed Markey, D. Mass, and Mike Lee, R. Utah, called for the U.S. Department of Homeland Security to pause a plan for Customs and Border Protection to implement facial recognition technology in the top 20 airports in the country by 2021, BuzzFeed News reports. DHS has a statutory requirement to submit a report to Congress detailing the viability of biometric technologies, including privacy implications and accuracy, the senators said in a joint statement. DHS should pause their efforts until American travelers fully understand exactly who has access to their facial recognition data, how long their data will be held, how their information will be safeguarded, and how they can opt out of the program altogether. Meanwhile, Gov. Gretchen Whitmer, D. Mish, proposed more funding to enhance the facial recognition capabilities of a state police database, while NBC News reports on the privacy concerns raised by researchers using photos to train facial recognition algorithms without consent. Full story If you want to comment on this post, you need to log in. Related stories and his keynote address at the IAPP Data Protection Intensive in London, UK. Information Commissioner's Office Executive Director for Technology Policy and Innovation Simon McDougall, CIPPE, CIPM, CIPT, warned the players in the current digital ecosystem that, we are losing a battle for trust, WHI. At a U.S. Senate Committee on the Judiciary hearing Tuesday, lawmakers sat answers from witnesses on the ways companies are monetizing users' personal data and whether consumers should have more choice in the matter as Congress looks toward crafting a federal privacy law, at some point, lawmaker. At a U.S. Senate Committee on the Judiciary hearing Tuesday, lawmakers sat answers from witnesses on the ways companies are monetizing users' personal data and whether consumers should have more choice in the matter as Congress looks toward crafting a federal privacy law, at some point, at the In this think piece for the privacy advisor, Bates Wells Braithwaite head of that a privacy Victoria Horder and CIPPE, CIPT, asks if the practice and interpretation of the EU general data protection regulation should include an ethical dimension. She writes, as our world becomes increasingly dominated. Give info security reports on the cybersecurity budget funding within the Trump administration's proposed fiscal 2020 budget. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security would receive more than $1 billion for cybersecurity under the proposed budget. The Department of Defense, Department of Energy, and the, the IAPP is the largest and most comprehensive global information privacy community and resource. Founded in 2000, the IAPP is a not-for-profit organization that helps define, support and improve the privacy profession globally. The IAPP is the only place you'll find a comprehensive body of resources, knowledge and experts to help you navigate the complex landscape of today's data-driven world. We offer individual, corporate and group memberships, and all members have access to an extensive array of benefits. Sign up today!